Hello, I'm Edward and welcome to WindowsReport.com. In this video, I will show you how to fix the Eudora authentication failed error. Eudora is a Qualcomm developed email client widely used on the Microsoft Windows operating systems. Some users who still use Eudora as their email client reported a failed Eudora login error while trying to log in. The causes can vary from incorrect SMTP port configurations to possible port blocking in the operating system. So let's take a look at how to solve this issue in no time. For a more detailed explanation and even more solutions, please check the article in the description below. The first solution is setting the correct SMTP port. To do that, launch Eudora and then go to Tools, Next, click on Options and after Ports or Sending Email, depending on the Eudora version. By default, the port is set to 25, so make sure you enter the correct port for your provider. And check Allow Authentication option under the SMTP Server section. Next, you need to modify the Eudora.ini file and disable CRAM MD5. Go to the Eudora installation folder, which is located in the Program Files folder, either x86 for 64-bit windows or simply program files for the 32-bit windows. Then locate a file named dudora.ini. Right-click the file and open with Notepad. Add the following line of code before the Settings line. Then press File and then Save and close it. Launch Eudora and check if the authentication problem is resolved. Another great solution is using the alternative port. To do that, just launch Eudora and then go to Options. Then select Port or Sending Email depending on the Eudora version. Then check Use Submission Port 587. Under Secure Socket when sending, select Required Start TLS. Test for any improvement. If none, follow the next step. Uncheck Use Submission Port 587 and under Secure Sockets when sending, select Never. Then try again to see if the mail client works. If not, make sure again that the Use Submission Port 587 is unchecked, then select Required Alternate Port option. Then try again to see if the mail client works. You can also diagnose port blocking. If a security program installed on your computer is blocking the ports from creating a connection with the mail server, then disabling the security programs such as firewall and antivirus can do the trick. However, to know if the program is blocking the ports, you can start the terminal and run Telnet. To do that, just click the Start button in the lower left corner and simply type CMD, then run Command Prompt as an administrator. In the Command Prompt, enter the following command and hit Enter. If you see the following message, then it means that the ports are working fine. It is possible as well that Telnet might be disabled by default on the newer version of Windows, including Windows 10. So if you get Telnet is not recognized as an internal or external command message, here is how to enable Telnet on Windows 7 and above PCs. Click the Start button in the lower left corner and simply type Turn Windows Features On or Off. Then in the following window, just look for Telnet and check the box beside it to enable Telnet. Click OK and wait for the changes to apply. For more information and details, please check the article in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.